and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here. If you're returning, you've probably heard me talk about this brand before. What brand is it? What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about Give Me Glow. One of my old time favorite indie brands. I have loved Give Me Glow for a very long time, but, but I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. <sighs> this launch was lackluster. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I always buy their new palettes. I always buy their new palettes because Gimme Glow has some of the best eyeshadow formula I've ever tried, ever, ever in the world. It's so good. Their mattes are great, but their shimmers, their shimmer formula is just blinding. It is beautiful, beautiful. So when they launched a new palette, I was like, okay, what do you got? Let me see. They came out with something a little different than what we've seen from them in the past. And that's the Mystical Garden Palette. Now, from the outside, it looks great, right? I really kind of like this raised lettering that they have. I think that's cool. It's very pretty. Um, I was excited to see what was inside. This is the palette. Now, if you're familiar with Gimme Glow, comment down below with what you think looks different about this palette. It's a little boring. <laughs> It's a little basic, okay? And Give Me Glow, for me at least, is not known for being basic. Their palettes are bright, they're stunning, they are innovative. I think they are. I think they're just something special. Uh, so I was a little disappointed by this palette, especially because there's only three shimmers in this entire palette and shimmers is really where they shine. So I wasn't super stoked on it and then they had 30% off their entire website. And I thought, let me pick it up. Let me try it, okay? Because it, I love Give Me Glow. I really, really do. So as long as their formula is the same, I'm gonna love this palette. So that's where I'm coming from. I was not super stoked when I saw the palette, I will say. It just, I don't know. They've come up with such amazing things in the past. I wasn't quite sure the idea behind this palette. It was just a little bit simple and it was a little bit you know it, it just you know not as exciting they hadn't really launched a palette in a while the last palette that they launched i'm trying to think of which one it was oh was it the one that was like half pink half purple no i think they had one after that i don't remember the latest palette they launched hmm okay maybe that's why they decided to go back to the basics but it does seem like they're doing a little bit of changing things up a little bit like their pan sizes of this palette are different traditionally in the past their pans have been quite large so i kind of like that they've downsized the pan sizes a little bit um especially as someone who will probably never pan an eyeshadow ever <laughs> um i say as i go into my project pan in a week but you know what that's that's okay that's on me uh, but I, it does also seem like they, you know, they did like a huge sale where they cleared out basically everything on the website. So it seems like they're changing things up a bit over there. I'm curious to see what direction they'll go in. And again, as long as the formula is the same, I probably will still continue to buy from them. Like all of their items that I bought, blush, highlighter, gorgeous, stunning. So I just hope that they don't change up the formula, you know, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, and I wanted to give this palette a chance, especially getting it for 30% off. I was like, okay, that's that's a good deal. Their mattes always perform really well for me. So let's just see, let's just see how it goes. So we're going to play with this palette. I also, they actually came out with a couple new blush colors as well. So I picked those up as well. We're gonna put one of these on my face. Um, and I'm excited for that because their blushes are really good. But I'm gonna do some swatches. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch this palette in quadrants because that's actually what sold me on the palette. I saw someone swatch it in quadrants online. So like these four, the middle four, and then the end four, and they looked so good in quadrants that it, it kind of helped me understand the palette a little bit better. Um, so that's how I'm gonna swatch them. And then I'm gonna pick one of those quadrants based off the swatches and just do a look with that. And then I will use one of the blushes, we'll come back here and we will talk about the palette and uh, talk about the brand in general because I'm curious to get your opinions on where you think the brand is going. So let's get into the swatches. Okay, here we go with the swatches. And I thought about this and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch them 
in the quadrants like I saw online someone did because I just think this palette works so well in these quadrants. So I'm going to swatch it like that, a little bit different. Uh, and my nails are a mess, so I apologize in advance. We've got Mystical Gardens. Night Out. Under My Spell. Seductive Sorceress. That was very hard to read. Next up, we have Waxing Crescent. Dark as My Soul. The Baddest Witch. Ah. And Desert Sage. Butterfly Magic. Pretty Paranormal. Wildflower. And Charmed. So there's the palette swatched. Let's try it on my face. Okay, my lips are so dry. I'm putting on the Black Sugar Lip Oil from Blend Bunny because it was super handy, but oh my God, my, my poor lips. Okay, so I primed this eye with my Bare Study Pro Paint Pot from MAC, and we're just gonna do the same look on both eyes. I swear we are this time. I always say that and then I don't, but I, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, you're probably gonna be surprised. You probably thought that I was gonna go for the greeny blue quadrant, but I'm not. I'm gonna do something a little, little more neutral, yet a little more Grungy, I think I'm gonna go for the one in the middle. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. So first what I'm gonna do, again, I just really like the layout of this palette. I do, especially, again, after seeing someone swatch it in quadrants, I haven't actually seen anyone review this palette, which is good, I wanted to go in this kind of blind, but after I film this, I might have to watch a couple reviews. I'm gonna start with going in dark as my soul up here. I'm gonna put this on the upper lid. We're gonna do a pretty basic look today. Something easy because if you're watching this, the day you're watching this is the day after Christmas. So if you celebrated Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and your family. I hope you had a good day and I hope you are recovering well. Okay, looks good. No issues with the mats. When I swatched everything, it felt very much like the exact same Give Me Glow formula that I know and love. So I honestly wasn't really too concerned with how the shadows were gonna perform um, after swatching it. I was like, okay, good. They haven't changed the formula. They've changed the pan size, but uh, again, I'm totally okay with that. I think it was actually probably a good idea. Their pans were massive. I have so many of their pans. Like single eyeshadow pans, they're huge. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Desert Sage and I'm gonna do a little bit of like a halo, I think, on the rest of my eye. One thing I will say about this palette though is the font on the shadow names is very, very hard to read. Like it's very pretty, but my goodness, when I was swatching, I had some issues. So, I would like them to change that. I, I really would. This is pretty. You may be asking yourself as well, Lauren, why didn't you go for the greeny blue quadrant? Like that's, that's you, that's you. Well, I have been doing a lot of greeny blue looks lately and I needed to do something a little bit different. Just a little, a little bit of a change for me. Okay, I can tell you right now, the eyeshadow formula is so the same eyeshadow formula and it's fantastic. It's very pigmented. Now, normally I don't like talk too much about the mattes because I'm like, a matte is a matte. It's either good or it's bad, right? I mean, there's in between, but you know, it's really the shimmers where I focus the most attention on. 
but these mattes are fantastic. They're super pigmented though. So if you don't like a pigmented shadow, Give Me Glow is not gonna be for you, but I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna go into Waxing Crescent. I'm just gonna put this one just a little bit on the outer end of my eye. I'm just gonna fluff a little bit of that color out. Again, because it's so pigmented, I don't wanna go on too heavy, but I just wanted to add a little bit of depth to this look. Smoke it out a little bit, if you will. You know, I honestly think people were just surprised when this palette came out because we have had just like a, an overflow of amazing palettes lately. So when this palette popped out, it was like, huh, mm, okay, well, we're getting all these great, interesting, different looking palettes. And this one's just kind of normal normal and like as I said before give me glow it's just I just feel like it's an inventive brand so I didn't really understand the direction of this palette I felt like it's a good palette if you haven't tried the brand before because it's got a lot of neutrals Ooh, I'm getting some fallout uh, but like for someone like me that has so much of their collection already it's like it wasn't completely necessary you know I might have gone a little overboard with the brown. Okay. I don't know where I was going with it. I just kept going. Okay, well, that was on me. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, <laughs> it'll look better with eyeliner, I promise. Okay, we are now gonna go into the last color in this quad, which is this shimmer, and this is the Baddest Witch right here. And you know, they already did like, God, what was it called? Witch's Club palette or something like that? So they have a witch themed palette. It's fantastic, I have it. Uh, it's very like dark and moody. So okay, like the, the names too confuse me a little bit because mystical garden, it's like mixed with like, oh, it's like a witch's garden. You know, it's like, that's like based off the names that I'm reading in here. It's like a witch's garden, right? Okay, and let's go back into dark as my soul. Like the name for this one, I just doesn't, it doesn't feel like to me that it really matches the overall theme, but I like the colors. Okay, I'm actually gonna go into Mystical Gardens, which is this like neutral kind of color here. <laughs> I'm going to try to use that to kind of like diffuse. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. And I kind of turned it gray, which I don't hate. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely went overboard with that uh, brown color. I just kept going. It was exciting. Uh, but I'm going to do that exact same look on this eye. I'm going to put on some eyeliner mascara. Come back here. We're going to use one of the new blushes. And then let's talk about this collection and uh, where I think Give Me Glow is going as a brand. I... Uh, I had some issues with this eye. It, um, I just, I couldn't get that darker color to sit right. So I took it off, tried to put it back on. At that point, my skin was angry and nothing will like layer on my skin. It's very weird. Um, it's not the eyeshadow. This happens to my eyes sometimes. I'm 35, you know, I've got older skin. Not old, just older. Uh, and sometimes, uh, especially like around my brow area, it gets finicky. So this side is fine, even though I did go crazy with that darker color. This side is a mess. I'm just gonna say it. Um, we're gonna move on for right now. Uh, we'll come back, we'll talk about my, my thoughts about this palette. But I picked up two of the blushes. Uh, the first one that I knew I had to get is the Plastics, which is this pretty pink. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And then the other one I picked up is Sweet Cheeks. And that one is a little bit of a brighter pink. It doesn't have shimmer in it. Um, so I think we're gonna go with the plastics. So it, it just, it looks so cute on the website. Plus I don't have any highlighter on. So. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty pink. Oh yeah, it does have shimmer. 
does not go with my eye look. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking today? I don't know. Okay, that is such a pretty blush. It has the prettiest shimmer in it. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm obsessed. So that's the blush. But let's talk about this collection. Specifically, let's start by talking about the Mystical Garden Palette because I have some thoughts. Okay, okay, first off, we just gotta get this out of the way. Waxing Crescent is not the color for me, okay? Sometimes with really pigmented shadows, they're a little harder to control. This is one of them, and I went crazy with it, okay? I, I shouldn't have used it the way I did, but I did, we're here now, and it's, uh, it's not the eyeshadow's fault. It really is my fault, but it's just, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, but regardless of my personal preference on color, I really liked the way that all these shadows performed. These are very much the regular Give Me Glow formula, which means that they're very velvety, they're very soft, they're very pigmented, and the shimmers are just absolutely stunning. So we only used one shimmer today. Again, huge drawback for me is that there's only three shimmers in this palette, especially since that's kind of what Gimme Glow is known for. They're fantastic shimmer formula. So little disappointed by that, I will say. But I think the shadows are their same old amazing formula. You can't go wrong with this palette. And I think this palette is very pretty. I just think it came out at a weird time where there's so many fantastic palettes coming out, all these beautiful wintry color stories. When did this launch? Ignore me. I think this did launch in fall. I just got it late. I Oh, okay, I need I need like a, a coffee or something, clearly. Uh, so it definitely is a fall palette. It screams fall, it feels fall. Is it my favorite fall palette that's come out this year? No, but it's very pretty, it's very dependable, and I find it pretty easy to use, minus that waxing coconut color. I think everything else would be fine. All the other colors I used performed really well. Um, you're gonna see a cattail poke up every now and again. Uh, but they are very powdery, so you have to kind of keep that in mind. This is definitely more of a formula where you want to treat it like a pressed pigment, where you kind of press it into your skin versus shearing it out. Because uh, the issue that I had with waxing coconut, I was trying to blend it out and it would blend into nothing. So part of that is my skin right now. It's just super irritated around the eyes, so it's not letting anything blend out really well. Um, but it's also just the formula being as pigmented as it is. Uh, I will say when I swatched all the colors, like the, the shimmers were so beautiful. The shimmers are so beautiful. Um, but also this is stuff that I already have from Give Me Glow. I definitely have very similar colors already in my collection from them. So it wasn't super unique to me. Uh, it is a good palette if you wanna learn more about Give Me Glow. I think this is a pretty good palette to start with because you actually have some neutrals in here, but you also have some fun colors as well. So. You know, I, it, it's a good palette. It's not one that I need in my collection, but it is very reflective of their amazing formula. So I do like that. Now, again, the drawbacks, waxing coconut was a little hard to work with between how pigmented it was in my skin. It just, it didn't want to go on. Like, I just was having some issues with it. So it was, it was a combo of things. It wasn't completely the eyeshadow's fault. Um, but I, I really I don't like the font they used for the shade names. It's just hard to read. <laughs> Maybe it's because my eyesight is terrible, but I just found it a little bit hard to read. So overall, I think it is a really pretty fall palette. I think it'd be great if you are somewhat new to Gimme Glow and you wanted to try them out. Um, and I do like that the pan sizes are much smaller than their older pan sizes. Um, so I think that's great as well. And it's, it's very pretty. I do like the outer packaging, it's very pretty. Actually, it's heavy too which I like. I knew the blushes were gonna be amazing. I mean, obviously we just tried the plastics, but so shimmery, so pink, so pretty. I love it. It doesn't go with my eyeshadow look, but at this point, my eyeshadow look doesn't go with my eyeshadow look, so it's fine. It is what it is. I'm really curious to see where this brand is going because this is one of my favorite indie brands. Their eyeshadow formula is fantastic and they always come out with these great, innovative, unique palettes that like I don't typically see. So I really hope they kind of keep that creative energy going in the future. Um, but I do like that they are kind of reevaluating their pan sizes, right? So now they're having smaller pans, uh, which I totally appreciate. 
Uh, their last launch, now that I'm thinking about it, their last launch, they did two palettes. Both those palettes were also very different from this palette. They had square pans, I think, in all of them. Um, but even between those two palettes, the pan sizes were different. So I think they're just trying new things out, you know, um, which is totally understandable, but I really hope that doesn't mean that the brand is struggling. I, I really do think that as long as they continue to come out with such great formulas and all their products, their blush, again, their highlighters are beautiful. Their eyeshadow was amazing. I think as long as they continue to do that, they're going to have a huge fan base, but I just, I didn't really see any hype for this palette. And that makes me sad because I love Give Me Glow. Give Me Glow is just fantastic. So I'm excited to see what they decide to do in the future. They have to be doing some sort of revamp, you know, because they put everything on sale. Everything was on sale. And I just, I want to, I'm curious. I want to know what they're doing. I want to know what they're thinking. Uh, maybe they're just changing the pan sizes and just everything will be coming out in that new pan size. And that's, that's what they're doing. Um, but maybe there's something else going on behind the scenes. Again, I will never tell you how to spend your money, but if you are interested in Gimme Glow and you haven't tried them before, this might be a good palette to start off on. I hope you all are having a restful and relaxing day post Christmas, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.